And, and you know, if you, if you look at science, you know, we, we mentioned Karl Popper, but if you, if you kind of look at how science has progressed philosophically from Popper, um, I, I believe his name is Thomas Kuhn. Anyway, he wrote a book on the something about scientific revolutions. And he talked about the difference between quote unquote normal science and revolutionary science. And normal science, he just called scientists that are, that are, that are puzzle solvers. You know what I'm saying? Like they just, they just do experiments to say that they did experiments and they, they follow the scientific method and they just reproduce the same stuff all the time. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Which is a lot of what science is in, and I'm not, saying that that's bad per se, but that's a lot of what science is. And then he talks about revolutionary science where, you know, someone had the courage to say, man, I'm seeing something different here, or I'm looking at things differently uh, and, and really trying to understand why they might be different than just putting a puzzle together again, because that's not really what, what science is. And, and to, to progress science, you need these these periods of revolutionary science where someone has the, the balls to say, shit, I'm looking at this differently. And my, my way of looking at it is producing results. And I just, that's, that's where we are in biology. It's, you know, we just, from a manual perspective and, and from a, a chiropractic and a PT perspective, I guess, massage perspective, we just, we just haven't jumped into that revolution yet. 